Hello. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a lock join using a needle. A lock join comes into play when your needle thread, okay, this is the thread going to the needle, is in the position that you need to join, okay? And what that does is that locks everything down and stops the process. Okay, it does exactly as the name implied. Shuttle tatters call it a shuttle lock join, but it is the same type of join. Okay, so to do a lock join, what you do is you wrap the thread around your pinky, lock it in, and hold it in place. You take your crochet hook and you go down through your pico. Well, let's let's join it to this pico. Go down through the pico, grab your thread, and pull it up. Now you see the thread that we're pulling up goes to the needle. Okay? And what you're going to do is take your needle up through that loop. What I do is when I pull it through the pico, I hook it on my finger. It makes it a lot easier and keeps it from twisting. Because if a lock joint twists, it's not going to lock properly. So, here we go. We put our needle through, pull the tail out of the way, and start closing that loop. Before your join is down, you adjust. Get everything in position where you want it. Hold it with your finger and your index finger and your thumb in the pinch and pull that down. Okay? Till it's snug and tight. And what that does is that knots it right there. It stops the process. This ain't going nowhere. It's not going to pull out. Okay? That is a needle lock join. Okay? It's done the same way using a shuttle, okay, but you're doing it with a needle. So that'll make it easier. To remove one of these, you just take your needle, and granted, you may mess up your thread, so be gentle, okay? They are removable. You just have to play. Get you a little gap. Then come in the back side and grab that needle thread and pull it out. Okay? Like I said, it takes some doings to get them out. That's why they are called a lock join. They lock. Okay? As you get a little thread, raise it up just a little bit. What you're doing is reversing what you just did to put it in. Okay, and this only happens when the needle thread is in position. After you get enough thread pulled loose, well, I just put it back in. Boy, I'm smart. After you get enough thread pulled loose to work your needle back through that loop, then you take your needle and go back through. Like I said, it can be tedious to do this. That's why you make sure everything is where you want it before you put it in. Because it's time consuming and nerve wracking to get one out. Okay? Now, if you pull your needle back through, it should come all the way out and loosen up. And then all you have is the join itself. Okay, see it right there? That's the thread going through the pico. And take your needle, run it back down through the pico, and you're out. And that is how you remove a lock join using a needle, but as you can see, it does stretch things. Okay, but that's one of the problems with removing a lock join. So, advice make sure your lock join is where you want it before you lock it down. So on that note, I hope you've learned something today. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Happy
happy tatting. <laughs>